Hello everyone, this is Eric at RC Monster Garage. Look what we got here today. It's finally here. We just got the Arma Creighton uh, 8S. Uh, this is a one-fifth scale. It's a big massive uh, truck and they made this thing this time to be able to hold a lot of impact. Uh, so without any further ado, let's open it up and see what's going on. First glance outside. It's beautiful. I really love the, this kind of finish, like with the kind of titanium color and black. And then you have, of course, uh, sliders on the top over here. And you have those uh, quick releases for the body. And you pull it out. And of course, on the back of the body right there, you have the support. So when you flip it, it's not going to break. Of course, as always, my first thing to say about this fill it up here with duct tape gorilla tape uh, insulation tape anything just to make it thicker because it's a little bit thin and a little bit nylon that they put inside don't really hold a lot so please do that so it's going to be better and then when you look at the vehicle itself it's pretty big a lot of aluminum a lot of red beautiful aluminum all over the place but we need to look what we get over here to start we have here those shocks, uh, the very big shocks that they're making for those cars. They're almost like an inch and a quarter thick front and rear. So they're very, very cool. And then we have inside, whoop, do this real quick. There is right there uh, a big sliding motor mount. And for this motor mount, what did they did this time, they actually gave you another accessory bag over here. And this accessory bag uh, have over here a different pattern for different motor to be able to be mounted on this vehicle. So please pay attention. You have to have a couple baggies in your in your uh, truck box. Then when you look all around this vehicle and you try to see what go wears, there is two big battery bay right here, and those huge battery bays will take uh, two 4s. So overall, you're going to run it on 8s. Or of course you can run it on two three S's and we're gonna be uh, a little bit too slow, so it's gonna be kind of pointless. Whenever you look at this vehicle, you see that everything is very massive, like the, the support bars over here. Um, even the gear, the, the, this is all steel gears inside of the of the uh, differentials over here. Uh, nothing is moving. Usually I like to take those and actually shake them backward forward. Uh, the center shaft and they're not doing it really like everything is actually pretty solid um, It's actually have right now here on the front. It's hard to see I'm gonna run the camera in a second later It's a sway bar front and rear that this will help going big jump high, high speed turns without actually flipping the vehicle So this is really cool that they did and then there was this huge massive uh, Copperhead two wheels look how big those things are and look like they actually uh, glued pretty good so hopefully that it's not gonna pop out when you guys going crazy fast and again uh, I know a lot of people complain about like the Arma did they have a problem with the previous version you know on the smaller scale on the 1 8 scale there was having a lot of problem with the differential I really believe that they solved the problem and if not they wouldn't release another car that will have similar problems so if you worry about that I think this problem got solved now when you look all around this vehicle, uh, you say, okay, wow, it's a big frame. Hey, why is it metal? Is it steel? This is actually a uh, 7075 aluminum that it's actually pretty tough. And then it's have here on the back, a big, 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 big brace that help uh, to reinforce the rear of the vehicle. It's super important. Let's lift it side up like this. And of course, when you look at it this way, you can actually see that they did like their logo that like don't just, uh, don't just bash blast and everything all the nice graphics on the bottom that's probably going to get destroyed immediately as soon as you do anything but while it's still up in the air you can see how thick all the a arms in in comparison to the regular version of this all those look at those huge uh steering knuckles here they are just humongous everything is so big and strong that this thing going to be able to get a good beating without getting destroyed easily. I see people jumping this thing in the air like crazy without this thing being damaged. And hopefully this is going to be the answer like for all those people that keep arguing that 
that their vehicle from a different company that I really don't like is much better than anything, I think this will actually be the solution uh, to quiet those guys down. Now, this vehicle is so big, it's taking so much real estate on my table that I literally have to move back in order to actually show it. Um, the entire gear system right here, uh, it's going from underneath, so when you're gonna put your slide your motor and everything out, I really believe that in order to slide the motor in, you're gonna have to remove this actually, the side panel over here. Uh, I don't see how a big motor actually gonna slide in without, without doing so. Uh, and then of course you're gonna need a big steering servo. You're gonna need a fifth scale steering servo. You have the steering mount inside, but it did not provide any steering servo, of course. Um, this is the extreme bash roller and it's missing a lot of different things that you the customer need to provide in order to to make it uh yours and make it perfect now i do want to show this is the mount that come in for your steering servo they come in in all those baggies that there is inside so this is very important to pay attention what those things are and of course that they're giving you inside those dampeners for the shock so you can actually change the way that the shock work uh you know like it's gonna give you like a, a faster or slower rebound and then in another bag over there of course that they're giving you the instruction with keys and some tools that you're gonna need to use in order to finish your vehicle and whoop i just dropped it it's what happened when you work in a messy shop um, you get here some spare parts actually uh, and this is actually your servo saver so this what gonna the big piece over here with the gearing gonna be what gonna go into your servo saver so make sure that you actually using it it's have a very specific um, number of tools that are gonna go in the servo so make sure you're getting the right one uh, let's put those aside real quick uh, overall it's a very very big heavy vehicle so you have to be very careful <laughs> it's if if you fully load this vehicle it's probably going to be about like let's say 28 to 32 pounds so be careful on your back when you're actually carrying it or if you hit someone with this it's going to be a total nightmare um, I really like the again what they're doing here with the, with the paint that they're using like flat colors and then the shiny colors at the same time um, overall this is a very cool looking car but we need to go and try it so i'm gonna build one i have the the power system ready for it i'm just gonna put a servo set it up to whatever i want and then we can go and kind of rip it and see how it's going to perform i believe that this thing going to be extreme monster this is going to be like a total thing that was worth waiting for now I'm gonna do a couple of videos, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, and if you are like in a different area and you have any question, just type it on the comment below. This is Eric, and this is available right now at Moto Styles Hobby Shop in Granada Hills, 17540 Chatsworth Street in Granada Hills, California, and zip code 91344. So whenever you're ready, give us a call, and you can come and pick one of those babies up. We have a couple of them at the shop. And we have also a couple other deals that you guys probably gonna want to get. So this video cannot be finished without you guys actually seeing all the parts closely. So this is the bearing over here for the shaft, for the center shaft going to the center differential with this huge, huge motor mount. Look up to the front and then again those big, 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 big shocks with the huge arms. Uh, and of course you have your the big very massive bumper on it and of course the wheels with those big steering knuckles and this sway bar we talked about earlier that it's right here it's kind of clumsy and loose but i guess it's going to do the job either way and then of course you have one on the back that is actually right there uh, i'm surprised they did not put a wheelie bar on this uh, but other than that this vehicle is actually awesome and as I mentioned earlier we're gonna put everything together and then we're gonna go and run it but this is again a quick 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 glance about what this thing is I see that this is a little bit leaking of oil um, overall complete 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 monster uh, let's put the body back on it this is why they call it monster truck because they are monsters 
and there it is this is the Creighton 8s and now it's available so you already know where we are you already know who we are you just need to come see you on the next video again um, I kind of forgot doing the hovering camera above to show everything and just I uh, continue it so this video if you watch it all the way through here just give us a thumbs up and press the like button over there subscribe or whatever you need to do in order to stay in touch with us bye